our show this week, we're going with a theme. What's that, Eco? Well, Scott, because of your recent bicycle accident. And it still hurts. I wanted to show you that bikes aren't all that bad. I don't think bikes are bad. Oh, well then I don't have anything to talk about this week's show. Well, we can still talk about bikes. Oh, good, because I had no idea what we were going to talk about for the next seven minutes. So here's our bike themed show on... Green Bike Weekly! No, 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 no. It's still... Welcome to episode number 11. I'm your host, Ego Geeko. This week we have a green bicycle theme. The technology of the modern bicycle was born in 1865 when the Velociped, or fast foot, was the first two-wheeled bike with pedals. Ever since, the bicycle has moved us from point A to B in the greenest way. This week we bring you some of the greenest and newest concept bikes from around the web. Let's jump right into it. The bicycle is the ultimate in green transportation. For many kids, it's also the first taste of freedom. But we all want our kids to be safe out there. So we need a training ground. Like bicycle boot camp? No, a bicycle rodeo. Many communities have these events where kids learn to bike safety and get to practice on a close course. This week was our local bike rodeo. My kids learned how to be safe and we saw the DK bicycle team do some awesome stunts, which you will see throughout the show. Anthony Watkinson. The first bike we have is for a real tree hugger. This near all wooden bike was handmade by Dutch industrial designer Jan Gunweg. Even has a wooden seat. That is beautiful and I have never seen wheels like that before. The bike is made of walnut and weighs in at a very nice 35 pounds. I'm just worried about one thing. What if I got a splinter? Youch. You can get yours later this month, but you'll have to check out their site for the cost when it comes out. For our second story, bamboo is used to get you from point A to B. Hey Eco, did you know that bamboo actually has a higher tensile strength than some alloys of steel? Wow, I didn't know that. It must be why French designer Anton Fritsch made his scooter out of bamboo. The prototype he calls the T20 has an electric motor and battery hidden in the bamboo body under the rider's feet. That's like my scooter. But is the seat made of cork? No, you got me there. The scooter works by kicking off to get started and then the electric drive kicks in and can get you up to 22 miles per hour with a range of 25 miles. This little beauty is a concept for now with no word if it will ever be for sale, but with a simple design, it doesn't look hard to be your next DIY project. Hey, Scott. Scott. Hey, we have a show to do. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I was just looking at the design, you know, so I can make one. Okay, but can we get back to the show? Uh, sure, what's up next? Check this out, Joey Hill! Our next bike has a retro feel to it and recently won the Oregon Manifest Bike Building Competition. It has a 24 volt, 250 watt motor that kicks in with a flick of a thumb on the left handlebar and costs $5,000 to make. They have hidden the lithium ion batteries in the top tubes of the bike so that it doesn't ruin the aesthetics and to make sure that you don't mistake it for a moped like some designs. The makers call the one of a kind bike the Faraday and wanted to get more people on bikes. And this one can help if they ride just a little too far. Sitting on a bike isn't always the way to travel, so this bike is a recumbent bike with the ability to fold up nice and neat. Ooh, I could put it in my desk. It will even fit in the trunk of a smart car. That's really small. No kidding. I know people that have a hard time fitting a gallon of milk in the smart car's trunk. This bike, with no name, is from Australia's Evolve Trikes and is not like other recumbent bikes because it has three wheels. This folding trike isn't up for sale yet because they are still experimenting with things like hinges and wheel sizes. So that it doesn't fold up while you're riding down the street. Uh, that would be bad. Here we go. Josh Kyle. Oh, the 720! 
I'm gonna mix things up a little with this next story because it's not a bike. No. What? Why? We said this was gonna be a bike themed episode. It does have wheels and it's bike like. Okay, what you got? Roto Mobility has reinvented the wheelchair with this row powered chair. Go on. The center mounted lever gives the user all the controls. Not only does rolling back and forth propel you forward, but by turning it, you can also steer left or right and to stop with the handlebar mounted brakes. The user can select from eight different gears to cover all the bases from the flat races to an uphill challenge. So Scott, do you see why it goes along with our bike theme? Well, just a little. Uh, I tried. Hey, check them out. <laughs> Okay, our last bike is human powered, but not any way you could ever guess. Telekinesis! You're terrible at this game. Uh, bouncing pogo bike. I'm just gonna tell you. Do you blow into a sail? This bike runs on human excrement. Oh, shingles. The toilet bike Neo, as it's called, was built by the commode king of Toto. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Wrong Toto. It's a toilet company in Japan. Using an onboard biogas digester to convert the dead organic material into usable fuel via an anaerobic bacteria system to produce methane, the rider actually provides the material by sitting on the commode and making a deposit. That looks like the most comfortable bike seat ever. But I don't think I can ride and read the newspaper at the same time. The the Komodo King plans to use the bike on a 500 mile trip from Kyushu to Tokyo to promote their planned reduction of CO2 emissions by 50% over the next six years. And if you don't think that's not crazy enough, the toilet bike talks too. Not so much crazy as disturbing. No word if pants are required to ride or not. And I'm sorry to say this is a one of a kind ride. So don't plan on picking one up for yourself. Ah, shingles. I hope you liked our bike themed show today. It got a little strange there towards the end. If you plan to get any of these bikes or just want to go out and ride one of your own, be sure to wear your helmet, knee pads, shoulder pads, and a lot of bubble wrap. Wait, wait, what? Oh wait, that's the dad in me. Follow us all the usual ways and remember to rethink it green. And remember to always wear your helmet. That too. Say, I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. Still can't find any sponsors. <laughs>